Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Man United star with 19 appearances this season could leave in coming days. Manchester United could be set to lose Christian Eriksen in the coming days as Turkish giants Galatasaray push for the Danish star signature. According to Turkish outlet Photomac, Christian Eriksen could join Galatasaray in the coming days ahead of the closing of the transfer window in Turkey on 9 February. The deal could potentially be a loan with an option to buy in the summer, but that will be determined this week as Galatasaray look to complete the deal. The 31-year-old is not a crucial part of Eric Ten Hag's plans, and has spent the last three games on the bench. Therefore, a transfer is not hard to complete. Eriksen has played 19 times for Man United this season, scoring one goal and assisting a further two. The midfielder has a contract at Old Trafford until 2025. Therefore, the summer would be the perfect time to move the player on. Casimero and Kobe Maino will likely be Man United starting midfield pair going forward this season, and with Scott McTominay and Sofiane Mrabit for cover, this should be an easy deal for Galatasaray to complete, and don't forget about Mason Mount. Lisandro Martinez could miss rest of the season. Manchester United swept past West Ham United 3-0 in the Premier League on Sunday, but the result was marred by an injury suffered by Lisandro Martinez. On a night when the youngsters shone the brightest, manager Eric Ten Hag was busy sweating over the extent of the injury. After undergoing scans, it was revealed that a surgery would not be required, but it would keep the World Cup winner out until March. The club have since released an official statement, which reads... Lisandro Martinez has sustained an injury to the medial collateral ligament in his knee and is expected to be out of action for at least eight weeks. The statement also added that everyone was looking forward to his return later in the season. It's clear to see that the former Ajax defender is crucial to the way the manager wants to play and even two months would be a huge blow, but... HITC Football have now revealed that sources within the club have a real fear that the Argentine international might not return this campaign. The report read, Sources with knowledge of the situation have now told HITC that the club hoped the 26-year-old will be back to play some part in the final weeks of the season, also admitting there is a real fear that the South American star will not play again this season. Martinez had returned from a long-term injury layoff after going under the knife for the same foot injury where had been operated on last term. The body can often take time to readjust to the rigors of professional sport and an injury so soon after recovering can take longer to heal. The injury occurred in the second half during a tussle with Vladimir Kufal by the touchline with the Hammers star falling on the centre-back's knee. It's not an ACL tear, which is the great news for the player, and hopefully we can see him sometime this season. His manager certainly needs him. Man United need Victor Lindelof to replicate last season's form after Lisandro Martinez's injury blow. Manchester United suffered an unfortunate setback on Sunday afternoon as Lisandro Martinez was forced to be substituted with an injury against West Ham United. The centre-back only recently returned to action after a metatarsal surgery, but he picked up a fresh injury after his right knee buckled under the weight of Vladimir Kufal. The Argentine is now sidelined for at least eight weeks, according to the club's official update as we mentioned before. United will need someone to step up in his absence, and in our opinion, it could be time for Victor Lindelof, who has become somewhat of a forgotten man since his groin surgery. This way he started the 22-23 season as a regular on the bench. However, he was a constant presence in the starting 11 in the final months amid injuries to Rafael Varane and Martinez. He played a big part in the club's top four finish with a strong defensive performances. The 35 million euro signing may have to replicate something similar during the season run in this term. The 29-year-old is the best ball-playing centre-back in the squad after Martinez. 
He has a passing accuracy of 91%, much higher than Varane and Harry Maguire, 89% and 83% respectively. Lindelof is also better with his overall concentration in the box. In our view, Varane and Lindelof should be United's regulars in the heart of the defense with Martinez on the sidelines. Varane's fitness issues obviously mean that he won't start every game, but he still needs to feature as much as possible as Maguire and Lindelof have looked vulnerable as a pairing. Borussia Dortmund to retain careful with Jadon Sancho injury after he misses Hayden Hein game. Jadon Sancho's loan spell at Borussia Dortmund has hit its first snag. After starting his spell on fire with an assist on debut and an all-round refreshed game, an adductor injury ruled him out of the recent game. Sancho's absence was keenly felt by Dortmund, who managed a limp 0-0 draw against Heidenheim without their key winger. Head coach Eden revealed that he has an issue with his adductor, alluding to the player lacking much fitness due to being sidelined at United. Now, German outlet Kicker reports that Dortmund will be extremely cautious with Sancho's to avoid the risk of a longer absence. Muscle injuries, especially as a result of a lack of much fitness, are always delicate once since the strained muscle can tear if put to use before completely healing. There is a sense of urgency in both the player and the club's camp, but patience has been preached which is a good sign for both. Dortmund needs Sancho's attacking quality as they look toothless in the final third in his absence and at the same time Sancho needs as many good performances as possible to convince United or potential suitors of his quality in the summer window. Therefore, they could be forgiven for trying to get Sancho back in the thick of things as quickly as possible, but common sense has reigned supreme. During his short loan stay at Dortmund, Sancho has already reconnected well with former teammates like Marco Royce, helping Dortmund to begin their charge up the table into Champions League spot. His United future still hangs in the air, though, as there doesn't seem to be any thawing in relations between the player and Eric Ten Hag. There is a decision to be made in the summer, but in the meantime, getting Sancho back fit and playing is in everyone's best interest. Former Man United CEO David Gill delivered his verdict on Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Inouyes. Former Manchester United chief David Gill has said that he is positive about Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Inouye's minority investment into the club. Jill spent a decade at Man United as their CEO and worked in tandem with Sir Alex Ferguson. The 66-year-old shared his views on the soon-to-be new owners on Rayo Ferdinand's YouTube channel 5. He said, Jean-Claude Blanc was at Juventus and then Paris Saint-Germain. I think he is an experienced executive in the football world and knows what works and what doesn't work. I think that's positive. Dave Brailsford has shown, albeit in slightly different sports, that he is a winner as well. And I think he will leave no stone unturned and think, for example, what's happened with this appointment. Inouye's minority investment has got to get approved by the Premier League, but they are prepared to act quickly and they understand we have to win. You are not guaranteed it, but we have to win and get that into everyone. I am excited. I think there will be some good moves and I think there are a lot of very good people at Manchester United. It's not as if we have to get rid of all these people. I just think they need a new direction, a new motivation and a new outlook and I think we have got that. So I'm positive but the proof will be in the pudding. New investment and ideas should bring fresh impetus to United. Sir Dave Brailsford and Inouye's Sports CEO Jean-Claude Blanc will reportedly join the board. Radcliffe wasted no time in recruiting Omar Berada, Man City's former chief operating officer, as United's new CEO. 
The initial actions of the British billionaire show that he and his team are highly ambitious and willing to bring success back to the theatre of dreams. Jill and Ferguson were the catalyst behind the sustained period of success at Old Trafford. The club's new investors must take a leaf out of their book as they begin their era. Mon United have already asked for information on Joshua Zirgzi. Manchester United have already asked for information on Bologna striker Joshua Zirgzi ahead of a potential move during the summer transfer window, according to Calcio Mercato. The Dutchman has had a fine second campaign with the Serie A outfit, scoring nine goals and providing six assists from 24 appearances across all competitions. AC Milan are hot on the trail of him ahead of the summer, while there is also interest from the likes of Napoli and Juventus. However, United have also made contact for Zergzi. Bayern Munchen currently have a buyback clause worth 40 million euros for the 22-year-old and it's a claim that it will cost higher than that for other clubs to sign him. Hoyland had a difficult start to his Premier League career after his move from Atalanta, but he has found his feet recently with four goals in his last four top flight games. The Dane has started to realize his immense potential. He has already netted 10 goals in all competitions and could easily achieve a tally of 20 goals by the end of May. Despite this, manager Eric Ten Hag will want a quality deputy and competitor for Hoyland. Anthony Martial is no longer a solution amid his persistent injury issues. The Frenchman looks set to leave on a free transfer when his contract expires on June 30. Zergzi could be the perfect signing for the role. He is an all-round striker who is good with the ball at his feet, likes to hold up play and can dribble past opponent. Like Hoyland, he has started to meet expectations with 15 goal contributions this term. He won't come on the cheap, however, with Bologna eyeing around 50 million euros. Calcio Mercato don't mention interest from any other club abroad, but it has been known for some time that Premier League rivals Arsenal are also keen on his services. Hence, it won't be a straightforward deal for United. They need to be proactive and must find a verbal agreement with the striker to gain an advantage in the pursuit. Manchester United leading the race for Gerard Branthwaite Manchester United are believed to be leading the race to sign Everton defender Gerard Branthwaite after a host of major clubs were linked with the 21-year-old. Pete O'Rourke contends United are in pole position to secure the centre-back signature this summer after Eric Ten Hag and the recruitment team had designated De Branthwaite as a long-term target. The defender has impressed at the heart of Everton's defence this season, having quickly earned the trust of Shine Deitch. Branthwaite is excellent on the ball, capable of playing out from the back under the pressure. He is surprisingly quick, given his size, and is naturally dominant in the air when defending his penalty box. A last-minute equaliser on Saturday to clinch a point for Everton against Tottenham Hotspur also highlighted his prowess in the opposition box. In short, he is the quintessential modern defender, as capable with the ball as without. It's a profile which not gone unnoticed amongst the Premier League's biggest clubs and even one in Spain. Arsenal, Chelsea and Spurs have all been concurrently linked with approaches for Branthwaite alongside United, as have Real Madrid, with Carlo Ancelotti actually giving the centre-back his debut at Everton when he was the club's manager. The Italian is believed to have kept a keen eye on his former Papal's development after leaving Goodison Park. A player with a long list of potential suitors can make a difficult target to secure a good deal on, as you are competing with other clubs with similarly strong budgets to yours, which is why O'Rourke's update is such a significant one. The reporter reveals a well-placed source has indicated United are leading the race to sign a Brent White ahead of their domestic 
and continental rivals disappoint the 21 year old signing a new deal at Goodison Park in October. There is still expectation he will be on the move this summer. Everton are continuing to face acute pressure from financial fair play regulations. The club are likely to need significant cash injections this summer and may look to offload some of their prized asset to help facilitate this. And it appears United will be right at the front of the queue for a brand weight when the transfer window opens at the end of the season. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.